thanks for tuning in and welcome back to another Muscle Building Monday. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you through a muscle building routine using the exercises demonstrated for you last week. If you missed that video, just click on this link right over here to familiarize yourself with the exercises. Before we start, just a quick reminder that if you like what you see and are interested in building some muscle, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the workouts. One thing you're going to need for the workout is a metronome and you're going to want to set it to 60 beats per minute. This is going to allow you to keep proper tempo throughout the workout as each beat is going to be exactly one second. Now, if listening to a metronome while you're working out doesn't sound appealing, not a problem. Another thing you can do is go to getsongbpm.com forward slash tempo forward slash 120 hyphen bpm and search for songs that you like to create a workout playlist. Because the songs are 120 beats per minute, every two beats are going to be equal to one second. If you have any questions, ask them down in the comment section and we'll either respond to you directly in the comment section or answer your questions during our weekly Sunday q and Alright, time to start the workout. The workout we will be demonstrating for you today will be a muscle building workout for your arms and shoulders. To perform this workout, there will be two different sets of exercises you will be supersetting. You are first going to superset the incline dumbbell hammer curl and the narrow parallel bar dip. For the incline dumbbell hammer curl, you are going to perform three sets of 10 to 12 repetitions using a load of 70% of your one repetition maximum and using a 4 0 2 0 tempo. That means that you are going to lower the weight for 4 seconds and immediately curl the weight back up for 2 seconds without resting at the top or bottom positions of the movement. You will then rest for 90 seconds before moving on to the narrow parallel bar dip. For the narrow parallel bar dip, you are going to perform three sets of 10 to 12 repetitions using a load of 70% of your one repetition maximum and using a 4 0 2 0 tempo. That means that you are going to lower your body for 4 seconds and immediately press yourself back up for 2 seconds without resting at the top or bottom positions of the movement. You will then rest for 90 seconds before moving back to the incline dumbbell hammer curl. The second set of exercises you will be supersetting will be the seated dumbbell shoulder press and the seated lateral dumbbell shoulder raise. For the seated dumbbell shoulder press, you are going to perform three sets of 10 to 12 repetitions using a load of 70% of your one repetition maximum and using a 4 0 2 0 tempo. That means that you are going to lower the weight for 4 seconds and immediately press the weight for 2 seconds without resting at the top or bottom positions of the movement. You will then rest for 90 seconds before moving on to the seated lateral dumbbell shoulder raise.
for the seated lateral dumbbell shoulder raise, you are going to perform three sets of 10 to 12 repetitions using a load of 70% of your one repetition maximum and using a 4 0 2 0 tempo. That means that you are going to lower the weight for 4 seconds and immediately lift the weight for 2 seconds without resting at the top or bottom positions of the movement. You will then rest for 90 seconds before moving back to the seated dumbbell shoulder press. That's it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in. If you like what you saw, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the workouts. And if you have any questions, ask them down in the comment section, and we'll either respond to you directly in the comment section, or answer your questions during our weekly Sunday Q&A. Keep fit, have fun, and we'll see you again next week.